Hey guys, a welcome in. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into this video, please make sure you click the like, the subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Hey guys, uh, welcome in. Let's talk about Lena Sardar Kill for a few minutes and get a little update out on her. I was going through Twitter. We know that she had a visual. She has been missing now for, wow, December, January, February, March, April, May, July. Seven months. Little Lena Sardar has gone missing. Check out the latest on her on Twitter. And then I'm going to go over this FBI list in San Antonio regarding some other missing people. So the latest latest on Lena is really not a lot. The last update on her besides the retweet that I just did here was actually on July 15th. The reward creases to 250000 This was out July 13th. Reward increased to 250000 for information that leads to the safe return of Lena Sardar. If anyone lives in the complex or anyone lives around there and has seen the children playing or has seen Lena or has any information about Riaz or his other wife that lives there, please email the channel at monkeymartruecrime at gmail.com. So really it's nothing new, just that she's still missing, which is pretty sad. And there is little Dulce Maria Abavez. She is the one who I believe father took her and she's back in Mexico. But that's it on Lena, pretty sad. But what I do wanna talk about is the picture on the last live we did regarding Lena of the little girl that looked like Lena. I have received concrete information from Riaz himself that that little girl is not Lena Sardar. And I will show you those messages right now. And then we will go check out the five people with ties to Texas on the FBI list. And Lena Sardar Kill being one of them. Uh, this is a message from Lena's father, Riaz, to an unknown source. I am not going to reveal her identity. But she says, aw. Riaz says, this is not Lena. She says, I don't understand. The pic you sent me isn't Lena. He says, in this picture, not Lena. She says, it looks just like her. You posted a photo with this girl in. Let's go to the second tech. You posted a photo of this girl in the video. That's not Lena. Yes, oh sorry, looks like Lena. Okay, if this is not Lena, and we know that his current wife is expecting a child, it could be any moment now. Actually, she probably already had the child. She ha He has another wife that was pregnant, and then we have this little girl who looks younger than Lena. If this is not Lena, who is she and who is this child's mother? Riaz, what is going on and where is your daughter, Lena Sadar? kill. We can tell that he's in Fredericksburg right here. Here is the plaza, Fredericksburg North. So I ask you, Riaz, who is this little girl and where is your daughter Lena Sadar kill? I am honestly starting to think that Lena was brought back to Afghanistan with a family member. Why I keep thinking that, I do not know. I don't want to think that, but I do not understand where your other daughter is and why you will not talk to me Riaz regarding your missing daughter. I really wish you would reach out to me. Like I said guys, if anybody lives in this complex, if anyone has seen Lena and knows Lena and saw her in the playground, knows Riaz, knows the other lady that's pregnant, email the channel at monkeymartruecrime at gmail.com because I am not going to forget about Lena. That I will assure you. Let's jump over to the FBI list that I was speaking of where Lena is there and also some other missing children. What is going on in this world and where in the heck are all of our babies are going? So this article is out by KNUE 101.5. Five people with ties to Texas on FBI missing people list. The FBI is looking for these five individuals with ties to the state of Texas. Lena Sadar, brown eyes, four foot approximately 55 pounds female. Lena Sadar Kill was last seen on the afternoon of December 20th at a playground at an apartment complex, the Villas Del Cabo. 
located in the vicinity of the 9400 block of Fredericksburg Road in San Antonio, Texas. She was last seen wearing a black jacket, a red dress, black shoes. Lena has straight shoulder length hair. Jamona Pickett. Dates of birth used May 24th, 2007. Hair black, eyes brown, height 5'5", 5, 5, 140 pounds. Female, black. Jamona Pickett has ties to Kentucky and Texas. The Louisville Division of the FBI is seeking the public's assistance in locating Jamona Pickett. Jamona was last seen on May 1st, 2022 at approximately 3 p.m. at her foster home in Scottsville, Kentucky. Jamona has a history of running away and took clothes with her when she disappeared. Jane McDonald Crone, December 16th, 1958, dark brown hair, green eyes, 5'11", 140 pounds, female, white, Crone was attending North Harris County College in Tombale, Texas at the time of her disappearance. Jane McDonald Crone left her home near Magnolia, Texas for her job at a tool company in Houston, Texas the morning of November 12th. In 1993. She did not return to her home or to her workplace after leaving work that evening. Crone is believed to be a victim of a possible kidnapping. Crone's 1982 Blue Ford Mustang Texas license number FXY01G was found November 16, 1993 in southwest Montgomery County, Texas, a few miles from her home. Her purse and identification were not found in the car and there were no signs of violence. Crone was seen dancing with a man at a nightclub in North Harris County, Texas at about 1 a.m. on November 14, 1993. She was last seen wearing dark jeans, a light-colored blouse with long sleeves and white sneakers. My God. Austin Bennett Tice, date of birth, August 11th, 1981. Place of birth, Plano, Texas. Brown hair, height 6'2", weighs 195 pounds, built medium, male white occupation a freelance photojournalist citizenship united states languages english scars and marks austin has a scar below his left nipple and a metal plate on his jaw austin has the following tattoos an eagle on the left side of his back a tribal band on his left arm and from his shoulder to his mid bicep a barbed wire band on his right arm. Reward. The United States government is offering a reward up to $1 million for information leading directly to the safe location, recovery, and return of Austin Bennett Tice. Details. Austin Bennett Tice was kidnapped in Damascus, Syria on August 13th, 2012. Austin's a freelance journalist and photographer for a variety of news organizations, including CBS, The Washington Post, and the McClatchy Company. Austin was kidnapped while reporting in Darea, a Damascus suburb. Ooh. Rachel Louise Cook, born May 10th, 1982, Georgetown, Texas. Blonde hair with highlights and lowlights, blue hazel eyes, 5'3". She weighed 115 pounds at the time of her disappearance. Parents. Female, white. Rachel has two heart-shaped cherries tattooed on her left shoulder and a black star tattoo on her left foot near her pinky toe. Rachel has also multiple ear piercings and a navel piercing. The FBI is offering a reward up to 50000 for information leading to the location of Rachel Louise a. Cook. Rachel was wearing a gray running outfit, a green sports bra, and ACIC running shoes. Ah, those were the same shoes that Melissa Caddick was wearing. She was also wearing a yellow Walkman on her arm with sports-style headphones. Rachel was visiting her parents' home in Georgetown, Texas in early 2002. She was on winter vacation from her school at San Diego Amisa College in San Diego, California. She was last seen by her family in the early morning hours of January 10th, 2002, when her mother left for work. It is believed Rachel departed her family's residence at approximately 9.30 a.m. for her daily four-mile run. Rachel was last seen approximately 200 yards away from her residence, walking towards her residence. Submit a tip if you have any information concerning Concerning this person, please call 1 800 call FBI or submit a tip online at tip.fbi. 
www.fbi.gov. You may also contact your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate. And we won't even get into the 19 fugitives wanted by the FBI with ties to Texas. Absolutely amazing how many people are missing. Absolutely sad, crazy, and amazing. But this little baby right here, Lena Sadar Kill, where are you? And the sad part is, let's just say if a family member did bring her back to Afghanistan, how on God's name would we ever even find her? Guys, make sure you drop your thoughts, your opinion, your comments. I want to hear it all. But that is it for the update on Lena Sadar and Mango Rias. I've got my eye on you. I'm starting to think that maybe the parents know exactly where Lena is. But with that, guys, it is a wrap. Keep your babies safe and stay vigilant, guys. I am out.